Hi everyone, and welcome to Chem Talk, where today we'll be discussing different types of chemical reactions and how to recognize them. So let's talk about it. The first reaction we'll cover is a synthesis reaction. The word synthesize means to combine, and that's exactly what's happening in this kind of reaction. We start with some simple materials, which combine to make a more complex compound. For example, let's look at the reaction between lithium and oxygen. Solid lithium and oxygen gas come together to form one compound, lithium oxide, so the reactants are synthesizing to make one product. A general formula that describes this reaction is A plus B, the two reactants, makes the compound AB, the one product. Instead of coming together, chemical reactions may involve breaking apart. This is what a decomposition reaction is. A complex compound breaks down into simpler materials. An energy source is required to break down the compound and may be present as heat, light, or electricity. For example, when in the presence of light, hydrogen peroxide decomposes into two simpler products, water and oxygen. So, we can represent decomposition reactions by the following general formula. AB, a compound, breaks down into A and B, two simpler products. Another type of reaction is a combustion reaction. This kind of reaction is pretty fun to see because flames are often produced. In a combustion reaction, a fuel and oxygen gas react to produce carbon dioxide and water. For example, propane and oxygen gas produce carbon dioxide and water, so this reaction is a combustion. To represent this reaction generally, we can say that a fuel and oxygen gas produce CO2 plus H2O. Next, let's talk about single replacement reactions. In this reaction, an element replaces another in a chemical compound. For example, when fluorine is reacted with NaBr, the fluorine replaces the bromine to form NaF and bromine. It's important to note that nonmetals only replace nonmetals and metals only replace metals in these reactions. Fluorine and bromine are both nonmetals, so they could replace each other in the reaction above. So we can represent single replacement reactions with the formula A plus BC produces B plus AC where elements A and B are both metal or both nonmetal. The last reaction we'll cover is the double replacement reaction. A double replacement reaction occurs when two elements replace each other in their compounds. And just like single replacement reactions, metals will replace metals and nonmetals will replace nonmetals. For example, when KOH and MgNO3 2 are reacted, K and Mg replace each other forming the new compounds KNO3 and MgOH2. The general formula that represents double displacement reactions is AB plus CD produces CB plus AD, where A and C are both either nonmetals or metals. Now that you're familiar with these five types of chemical reactions, let's try a little practice. Pause the video and try to identify the type of reaction for each chemical formula. All right, so for the first reaction, chlorine and calcium iodide produced calcium chloride and iodine. Well, we can see that chlorine and iodine switched places when they were reacted, as calcium and iodine were bonded together on the reactant side, but calcium and chloride were bonded together as products. Thus, one element is replacing the other in this reaction, so it's a single replacement reaction. Here, CH4 and oxygen gas produce carbon dioxide and water. Whenever an element is reacted with O2 and produces CO2 and H2O, we can say that the reaction is a combustion. So this example was a combustion reaction. In our last problem, silver bromide produces silver and bromine. We can see that silver bromide is a compound, while silver and bromine are simpler materials. So silver bromide is breaking down or decomposing into silver and bromine. So this is a decomposition reaction. Before you go, let's recap. There are five major kinds of chemical reactions. In a synthesis, chemicals combine while they break apart in a decomposition. In a combustion, fuel is reacted with O2 to produce CO2 and H2O. And in a single replacement, one element replaces another in a chemical compound, 
while in a double replacement, elements are replaced in two compounds. Okay, and that's all for today's lecture. Thank you for tuning into this video and please visit us at www.chemistrytalk.org to learn more amazing things about chemistry. Bye!